Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, I've done a lot off camera. Um, we got an Espeon, we got a Leafeon. But not just any Leafeon. A big Leafeon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we caught a, uh, uh, Alpha. Got an alpha, the Alpha Rapidash from the starting area, and I went really hard on the Pokedex. Uh, like, I think I was four stars. Now I'm six. So, um, which gives us the ability to make Ultra Balls and Wing Balls. I don't know which one was when. But we have the ability to do both of these now. And then I went, I just went around collecting a ton of stuff last night uh so that i you know would have more uh because I, I was thinking i was like oh yeah no I, I should make some more uh great balls and i was like well i can also just make ultra balls or um wing balls so i believe don't quote me on this uh but this is the equivalent of a great ball but you know fast balls fly fast um so Craft 60 of those and 64 of those, so if I crack 60 of these, I'll have like 30 of these instead and 60 of these. Um, that's probably fine. Uh, but that's not what we're gonna do right now. Uh, oh, I also completed, uh, a bunch of the requests. Uh, so right now we have, um, Cherim, which I haven't seen, uh... He, uh, the Wisps, which is, you know, we're never going to do that. Uh, well, <laughs> I might do it, but it's 107. It's not going to be done anytime quickly. Uh, and then the, uh, Oddish, the three leaf Pokemon. Um, so yeah, we are going to go back. Um, oh, I also upgraded my, uh, backpack upgrade. Um, we've gotten several evolutionary stones. Um, if you're wondering on Leafeon, it is the, um, how much money do I have? I got money. Okay. Uh, but it, it's that mossy rock that we had to go to. Uh, I went there, and that's how you evolve it. You just have to have Eevee nearby, that rock. Pro Glaceon, I haven't found an icy rock, but I'm assuming Glaceon will be the same. Um. Oh, hello. Is there a new quest? There was an earlier. Um, run the security team so they get a battle strategy this patch. Oh, it's because I caught a patch of recent. Yeah, we, yeah, we caught a ton of a ton of new Pokemon. Uh, like I think I like 1.5 times my Pokedex. But with this, we're going to continue with the, the story. I'm going to switch out my party back to my normal party. And we've got an evolution coming up. Anyway, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lilligan, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy. And Arizu knowingly kept this from me. Lady what? Yes, they're only female Lilligant, which makes this honored one. Okay. Um, but this isn't the time for the cultural lesson. I'd like to find out just what Arizu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee. Last I saw her, she was at the wallflower polishing off that big old plate of mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible. And Arizu, the Diamond Clan, was somehow involved in the situation with the raging Ursa Luna of the Pearl Clan. Uh, can we two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up struggling with the Pearl Clan, what do you people do? That sounds like a you problem. We'd be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not take part in tearing the land. Apart. Uh, right, of course. After all, the work you've put in to get us to treat one another's equals, uh, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Perhaps you have some idea what might, um, how we might address this situation. Uh, maybe? 
First alone, huh? So he and the Warden call above found you worthy? That's amazing! Uh, if you're not strong enough that Ursula... If you are strong enough that Ursula deems you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilligan's Frenzy. Uh, let's head to Lilligan's seat, then Brave Arena. Uh, it's called... Wait. Oh, I'll head to the seat, then Brave Arena. What? What? <sighs> Listen well. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to people in Hisui. But always remember we came here to make a new home. We could live without war or strife. Mm, okay, okay. I'm always solving you guys' problems, though. Utterly ridiculous. Oh, I think I can make max potions or something. And it's like Pokemon up to level 80 will listen to me. Which is uh, pretty wild. Um, well, let's take a look at this side quest. Uh, oh, also unknown. The unknown. Uh, I've caught D and Eb. I think you have 13. I think that's M. So. Uh, I'm going to check over here for my garden. Oh, uh, we expanded the fields. Uh, no, we, we did that uh, quite a while ago, actually. Um, no, they're still growing. Anyway, wh where was... Uh... Uh, oh, Pachirisu. Um, where are you? Not here. Got it. All right. Well, we'll worry about that later then. I am going to switch out my team. Uh, yeah, I was just leveling them up. Uh, Rapidash needed um, Fire Blast, Golbat. Or I evolved into Golbat. Um, I think I'll stick with him for just a second. Uh, did I clear out my inventory? I did not. You can see, like, Waterstone. I've been trying to clear, uh, keep my inventory clear for all I can, because you can see you can go down here. Lots of inventory spots, but there are uh, there are a lot of items now. Um, let's see what it is. Yeah, so we've got fire, water, thunder, uh, leaf. So we've been getting some stones. Um, and then we have... Uh, Yeah, upgrade and dubious disc. So I believe upgrade is for Porygon. I think. Um, yeah. Go to camp right here. And then I'm going to uh, switch my party around. And we're going to evolve the starter finally. Which I believe they are different. That girl who set out earlier must have been eating some Benny's po uh, potato mochi. Still smelling her. It reminds me, I've seen Mistress Colaba riding around the Ursa Luna. She serves digging for treasure. Ooh, use Ursa Luna. Get it. Okay, there you are. Uh, no. Let me talk to you. See my Pokemon. Also, the pastures expanded, so that was neat. Let's see, can I? All right. This is who I want on my party. Just the top row. Hold on, who's better? Probably a water Pokemon. Um, I don't care. I also got shiny Bidoof. I have a shiny Cricket Thought somewhere. I'm. Uh, let's see. Let's search this. I think I marked shiny Cricket Thought. Yep, right here. Shiny Cricket Thought. 
I marked him with the the thing. Okay. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We're gonna evolve. Uh, oh, I can just hit X. All right. Let's see what their evolution is. I'm pretty sure I went through and did enough of their um, Pokedex entry. I know it's filled out to max. What? Ghost? Okay. I don't... I don't hate it. It's funny it's taller than Charizard. Uh... Okay. Or, uh, no. Uh, here, change moves. I mean, Hex isn't, like, a good attack my opinion hex is great if you can like reliably inflict a status ailment i believe okay we have two no no i think every starter is unique whatever let's see what it looks like i kind of hate it like Okay, fight. Uh, Captain Zisui has told me all about all sorts of things with training. I don't feel like I'm really improving, so I came here to train with Pachirisu. Can't figure out any ways of winning with Pachirisu. Um, can you show me how to have a Pokemon battle? Sure thing. I want to see you battle with a single Pachirisu. Uh... No. I, I don't... So. No. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. I'm not doing that. Just keep on chugging along. Alright, so it's across the, the water. Wait, where's the easiest way to get across? Yeah, right here. Go across the water. And how are we gonna get up here? Yeah, he's really bad at like scaling the landscape. Do I kinda don't like him? I don't really like riding on him. Hello. Oh. How did it all go with Ursa Luna? I calmed him down. Wow, you really are strong, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Uh, I rode Ursa Luna. <laughs> he tracked me all the way here by the scent of these potato mochi I ate? That Ursa Luna sure is something. I know he's a descendant of one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. My luck's run out, though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad while I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, there you are! Eek! Mistress Kalaba, uh, I, uh... Oh, you apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursa Luna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining it myself. Ursa Luna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied at that point, so I'm sure that was the cause of it. Ah, that explains the strange power I found on Ursa Luna. Must have been powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I fell and sprained my ankle. Say the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Layton, who told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilgan using her favorite foods. 
You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn every even more from you, really. Well then, we'd better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Hi. Why did I have to come find her? You guys found me in like two seconds. From different directions. Uh, what were you thinking of this all yourself? Did you think I couldn't... Did you think I couldn't help? Though, no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never seen... I've never even seen Almighty Sin with my own eyes. And I failed to imagine that Hooligan might have become frenzied too. Listen up. I'll take the bombs that... Arizu made and meet you at Brava Arena. Don't worry. Uh, don't you worry, Arizu. That Arizu. <laughs> You're calm, little again. Oh, I will calm, little again. And now, listen, me. Uh, head to Brave Arena. That's where little Gant is. Arizu, you'll be taken care of, my dear bar by Barrel, and I will make sure. I want to see. Awesome. Awesome. I want to see if it has a flame on its back. If it has a flame on its back, i fight you. That's not bad. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I hate that they have it extinguished a lot of the time. I have no actual issues with that. That looks pretty cool. But yeah, they. I don't like his face. He, he looks like. Okay. There's a bad reason I don't like his face. It reminds me of my own severe depression. <laughs> uh. Go this one. Where's it at? Yeah, it's just as fast to go there myself. No need to teleport. Um, and Fire Ghost, I think, is a cool typing. I don't know if it's a good typing. I think it's a cool typing, but, um, like, I really like, uh, uh, of course, now I'm having a brain fart. Uh, maybe I am going to teleport here. Um, I, I can't think of their name right now. I'm, I'm just having a brain fart. But they are Chandler. Chandler, uh, you know, the Litten. Uh, Litten. Um, Litwick. You know, they're cool Pokemon. Gotta get these iron chunks. It's always better to have more than you think you need. Um... We'll probably just be making a ton of progress because, uh, you know, a lot of the time I've been delaying progress uh, because, you know, I, I don't want to rush through the game. But at this point, um, I have done a lot off camera. So it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be rushing through the game. Also, these now give iron chunks. Um, I think all of them do now. Uh, which is kind of why I'm hitting them. Because uh, uh, I've been told they're not actual garbage, but uh, I don't like heavy balls. I think they're actual garbage. Uh, in the sense of I don't want to use them. Hey, Licky Licky, what up, my man? <laughs> It's <laughs> just the giant licky licky. Uh, I'll have to I'll have to put him on my team at some point. But the um, the uh, super sized uh, or the the alpha uh, How do I get there? Uh, the alpha, um, Rapidash I have is so freaking tall. It's insane. Hey, Roselia. And 
Roserade, I think. I don't remember. I got distracted picking up items, I'm pretty sure. It's hard not to when you're um easily distracted. <laughs> but that's okay, we're gonna So you can, but take that means you're ready. Yeah, sure. Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even in her frenzy, behold her and be grateful. Uh, I hope we didn't keep you waiting. I really wish she was, uh, it was, it was, uh, Lilligan's uh, evolution. Um, all it took was one of my poltices to get Arizu's leg all patched up. Call above, ma'am. I'm deeply sorry we had to lean on you, <clears throat> on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. No, no, no. You're helping Pokemon. It doesn't matter. Uh, Arzu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligan, is about to... He's like a dancer, always in motion, always starting about. You want to watch your moves real close and learn how to dodge your moves? That's right. You can keep on dodging. She might get tired out. That's your opening. And that's so you can bring down your... Uh, bring your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Apparently... I'm going to try this. Apparently, you could do this without, um, fighting. I'm gonna try. Or at least you could for Cleavor, because I was told that they did Cleavor without fighting. Is this a unique form? It is a unique... Okay, cool. At least it's a unique form. I kind of hate it. Um, but because it, it reminds me of, uh, like, Lilymon. So I don't actually hate it. But it's very bright. Uh, you can dodge attacks. I'm going to try this fight. I wonder what... Um, we got like a friend who's going to... Okay. Oh, hello. Nah, I want to try it. Without relying on Pokemon. Oh, you know what'd be cool? Electric grass. How many how many electric grass Pokemon are there? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I can think of a single electric grass Pokemon. Oh, wait, uh, one of the Rotoms, maybe? Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Sorry. The, the music... I adjusted my headset when I looked over. It, it looks like it's a little too loud. Or, like, her attacks at the... the thing. And also the ball hitting. I, I don't know how I feel about doing it without fighting. I feel it is too easy. Maybe that's because I'm just the greatest Dark Souls player that's ever lived. Uh. <laughs> okay. Do we get a color change? Okay, that looks so much better. 
that looks so much better. I hate it. It was just, I don't mind the yellow for accents, like, you know, sunflower or something. I think this one looks so much better and also absolutely more like, um, absolutely more like, uh, Lily Mon. <laughs> Hey, thank you. Uh, you didn't just save Lilymon, you saved Arizu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursaluna, and now Lilligan- Uh, sorry, Lilymon. <laughs> You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzy didn't suit Lilymon one bit. I'm so happy she- <laughs> She's back to her graceful self. Uh, Arizu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Solicio... Solicion ruins. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teachings of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one. Ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. Call me Mademoiselle. Uh, don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arizu. You're a warden of all people. We should know how to stand in solidarity with others. Uh, it's your job to stand side by side with your Pokemon, after all. Uh, yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arizu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve that. But from now on, uh, do it without keeping things from me. Agree? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lil Gant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together uh, from now on to keep the Meyerland safe. Be sure to inform Irida... Irida... Uh, that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy team saved, helped save Ursaluna. You did well. All your different groups finally joined... Uh, all our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I'd be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adaman. <laughs> you know me. I'm Adam Man. Uh, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is about to change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live and change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for everything. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How did a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied? Though it's not like I'm perfect, I hid things and lied and I couldn't even keep you safe. I'm really sorry about everything. Is she supposed to have a scar on her face? I'm okay with that. Is that like, I don't know. I need to look at her face more. Hold on, are you there? Where are you? I want to look at your face. Um, I can't be bothered to look anymore. Uh, what was that? Yeah. Whoops. You're a real, you're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing from the space time. I hope he's a bad guy. Space time rift quelled another frenzied Pokemon. Have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon, but you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui, and I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Stay in touch, friend. Really hope he's the bad guy. Did I get any? Oh, yeah, I evolved. And I beat a Stunky. Um, what's yours? Infernal Parade, Flamethrower, Overheat, Strong, and Agile. That should be an issue. Smashing the head. Uh, smashing, let's head back and report. Cool. That's what I wanted to do anyway. No, we'll probably end the episode there.
by the side of the mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you leave, when you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized a mile away. I'm gonna be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Commodore a report? Your meal. What? Uh, yeah, you're the one who interrupted me from reporting on it. <laughs> what? Come on. Uh, hello. Uh, there you are. You're the one, right? The one that's been taking all this, uh, talking about. The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Meyerland. My young sister wanted the Security Corps, you see. She went to the Meyerland, too, but she never made it back. Managed to track her down, that Arizu woman in the boggy Meyerlands, right? So could you do it? Uh, what's she smell like? What? what? Oh, you mean the search by your scent? Well, <laughs> what's her smell? What's her smell? Oh, it's a bitch! <laughs> Counting on you, please find Wanda wherever the Meyerland ended up. Uh, um, there's no other, uh, no other missions yet. My Pokedex can't be leveled up. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought that the cursor went, d or the cursor, the highlight thing went down for a second. So you successfully calmed a little again. Excellent. There may be... There may well be times in the galaxy when we'll be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves. I didn't fight this time. I just hawked things at it. A stranger falls from <laughs> our world into a... From a rift in the space-time, then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls in the very same rift. But well, you have no connection to lightning. Isn't that right? You may need to investigate the rift itself by proving the motives... And the mochi. Piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Ah, this is a life. Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings of our Pokemon research, and topping it off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for more? Sure, it's nice, but I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? Oh, right. Have, have this flashy new recipe. <laughs> All right, so for real, like chopping down trees, you're not going to realize what kind of impact you have until you've chopped down a massive amount of trees. Scatterbangs, pot pods, and caster ferns. Oh, no, don't worry yourself, my boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find the way. Uh, these words are worth taking to heart as long as you truly believe in ourselves. I'm sure we'll even complete the Pokedex of ours someday. It'll be complete-ish. There are some of them I don't want to do. Like, if Cyndaquil can't be completed anymore, I'm done. I don't care. I'm not going to restart the game and do everything over, and I'm not going to trade one in. Mostly because I don't know anyone to trade with. Well, you never guess what? I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now I'll be able to carry out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be Lilligan's Warden and all. I just burned the candle at both ends, but I made it work. Don't you worry. So the new haircuts? Anyway, come on the hairdresser when you can. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. Okie dokie, I want a new haircut. I'm pleased you found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Commodore, sir, or er, uh, about the whole Ursaluna situation. If you are to work in Jubilife Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you, you're you from. Welcome, Arizu. Teach me about your bracelet, though. Oh, and you, come with me. To Prelude Beach. No. I'm really not given any choices, am I? 
These people just arrived and he's the way they'll live together with us in Jubilife Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore at Prelude Beach. It is, it is where everything begins. This is where a new life for all of you begins as well. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard that Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you've both heard correctly, and the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to a human here. One of our story. <coughs> One of our recruits. <coughs> Though the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop the village and thrive here in Hisui. You know what would be really cool? If I actually, like, if they had a little city builder segment where it's like, I could put money into different things or, or resources or something, and that would make them grow instead of just doing a side quest. But that's a different kind of game. I think that would be better, though, because then I'm, like, directly improving it, not just doing side quests, which just happens to improve it. Advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas in which we can operate safely. That this, which allows us to welcome newcomers like this. You truly love Pokemon, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Not really! Huh. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows of Galaxy Team, and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that's a necessary quality of one of the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's imperative that we study them and learn what they can teach us, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. Yeah, take a look at Oshawa. Vulpix. It's terrifying monsters. And be warned, as the leader of Galaxy Team, I'm prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Excuse me, boss. Irida from the Pearl Clan is here. Good, I believe I know where she's here about. As for you, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing next to course efforts. I've been doing their missions. Doing more than you have. You stand there and do nothing. All right. We'll be back in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am playing it. Uh, this game is extremely fun. I got 17 hours in it, and it's hard to stop playing. So, uh, Also, I'm going to kind of go out on a limb here. I think there's one game that could change my mind if they do it absolutely flawlessly, and that's Elden Ring. But as of right now, game of the year. Oh, uh, maybe Breath of the Wild 2. I don't know if that's coming out this year. I, th I think those are the only two games that would like really change my mind, but we'll see. Because as of right now, this is my game of the year choice. <clears throat> so, thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye.